Hey screen printers, this is Ryan from Ryanet, and in this screen printing instructional video, we're going to talk about screen printing on metal. Now as a screen printer, you're often going to have requests from customers to do things other than t-shirts. The cool things about screen printing is that you can actually print almost anything as long as you can fit a screen onto it. So think outside of the box and don't be afraid to try a new thing. This is a metal binder that we're going to be talking about in a second. We're going to print this with a solvent based ink. Now a lot of times when you're printing other things than t-shirts, you have to use different types of ink. So you need to make sure to do some research on the type of ink for your substrate. This is coated with a clear coat, essentially like a painted clear coat. And we're going to be using our general purpose ink, which prints well onto painted surfaces. Now we have four lines of this Inktech solvent ink. We also have different inks and other inks available depending if you're printing poster paper or wood. You can use water based inks. Depending on the type of substrate that you're printing on, you might want to use a different type of solvent ink. A lot of information on our knowledge base that talks about different inks for different substrates. So don't just throw any type of ink on any substrate because it might not adhere well. This is an air dry ink, so we don't need a curing process to this, it just air dries. We're going to be setting this on a standard t-shirt platen. We got the platen a little bit sticky, so I've already created a setup to that. We're also going to be using our Riley Hopkins Jr. So I have a hash mark here. Now the cool thing about this is solid substrates you can actually register fairly easily. So two color printing for solid substrates is done a little bit differently. This is just a one color black on this metal logo that we're going to be doing. But if we were doing two colors, we'd print the first color, we'd let it dry, and then we'd print the second color. Because this is a solid object, unlike a t-shirt that moves all the way around, we can actually come and draw lines in or actually create little bumper stops to put the binder or whatever we're printing in the same spot on the platen every single time. So we've gotten this lined up. We're going to be using general purpose ink today, black. Now typically you want to thin this ink down. We already have about 2% of thinner in this ink, so we're good to go on the thinning. Now you do want to keep in mind this is an air dry ink, so that as we print it, it's going to dry very fast, way faster than water based in fact. So we want to always want to leave the screen flooded, we always want to print aggressively, and once we're done printing, literally if we walk away from the screen for a couple minutes, it'll start to dry. So you want to do your whole production run at one time. Let's get this thing set up and start printing. A couple things that are very important. One, you want to make sure you're using the right emulsion. We're using a graphic emulsion that resists this graphic ink. Two is off contact is key here. So we have a tight screen with a good amount of off contact. If we were on contact, that ink would not have a re place to release onto the substrate. The substrates, other than t-shirts, they do not receive ink the same way. A t-shirt's flexible, it receives some ink into it. This does not. So off contact is key. If you can get away with doing smaller squeegees, you can control the ink a lot better. So for instance, this print, it's going to be way easier if I go like this than using a big squeegee and going like this. So we're going to load the ink up in the screen. We're not going to use a lot of ink because we're only printing one. Now this ink is thin, but it is also thick, so it's kind of like got some interesting medium char characteristics to ink. So we don't want to load too much in the screen because then we have to clean more out and it's difficult. And since we're only doing one print, now if we're going to production print, we'd probably want to load more. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the screen up. So very similar to water-based printing. And I am going to pull this. I feel when I pull the squeegee, especially when graphic printing, you can control the angle and the release of the ink a lot more than pushing. So I'm going to pull this. I'm going to go pretty slow, good amount of pressure, and then let that ink print onto the substrate. So let's check it out. Now if we're going to do another print, we'd always want to back flood. So we back flood that back. I'm going to set the squeegee in the back of the screen. That looks slick. So the cool thing about graphic printing like this is I think it just comes out awesome. We have a halftone filter over this, so you can actually see little tiny halftone dots all throughout this print. A solid substrate, unlike a t-shirt, can actually hold a lot more detail, so you can get really intricate with your designs. Once we're done printing, we're going to take all the wet ink and put it back into the container. If it's dry like this, don't try to scrape it off. Only deal with the wet ink. That's why you don't want to load the screen with too much ink. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is this ink is stinky, so you want to make sure to do this in a ventilated area and make sure you have plenty of airflow around the ink, otherwise the fumes can get to you. 
Once we're done cleaning all the ink off, we want to use a solvent specifically designed for graphic inks to wipe the screen down before we go reclaim it. You can find those solvents available on our website and ask for recommendations if you have any questions. Once we've printed this, we're going to let this ink dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Before you go into production, you always want to do some scratch testing to ensure the ink is biting into your substrate. Now what we actually printed here is a Rhinet Way binder and Rhinet Y binder, so it's kind of a way and Y. We put stories of customer success, cool stories from screen printing, and stories from our team members that inspire us and remember us, help us remember why we're working here at Rhinet and what we do every day. If you have a cool story, send it to us and it might work its way into this binder that sits in our lobby here in Washington. Now let's say you want to print binders but you don't want the mess of this different type of ink or investing or learning a new type of printing. Well you can actually become an ASI member which is a partner of Ryanet and have access to over a billion different products. Pinders, golf balls, I mean even spatulas if you want a company's name and logo on them. This can really expand your business. It's very affordable to get into. So check out ASI options available on our website to see what a partnership with ASI is all about. So thanks a lot for watching guys. We appreciate that you want to expand your screen printing knowledge. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page for more awesome screen print tutorials and have an awesome day.